Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So by now, I'm sure that most of you have heard that the relationship guru, Derek Jackson, who was outed about a year and a half ago for having multiple mistresses and affairs on his wife, cheating yet once again. So on Friday, Tasha Kay released multiple pictures of Derek Jackson with an unknown female kicking it in Miami. And we now know that that female goes by the social media handle, Pinky Love. Now, Derek Jackson on Saturday morning goes to Instagram and releases a written statement that says he and his wife mutually agreed earlier this year to divorce and that they are co-parenting. And that, so it leads us to believe that this is something that has already been in the works. So it wouldn't be strange coincidentally to see him probably with another female. Okay, so I went through Pinky Love's social media and I found something extremely interesting that I wanted to share with you here. Okay, so we are looking at Pinky Love's Facebook page. And this is a post from October the 11th, 2018 that says, told you. And as you can see, she is sharing out none other than Derek Jackson's relationship advice. And this particular one is on how a man knows he's fallen in love. Like, I had all kinds of questions after I saw this. It just made me wonder, how long have they known each other? How long did they just meet? Have they been in a relationship this whole time? I'm going to let you guys hear it and I'll be back in a moment. Because like when you're dealing with a woman that you don't really care about, you're not about to change nothing about yourself. You're not about to change the way you dress, eat, talk to other women, your ambition or lack thereof. Because you know you can get another her. But you can't get no another woman like the one that you've fallen in love with. Why? Because she's better than you. She is. Think about it. When a man talks about a woman that he loves, what does he say? This is the best thing that ever happened to me. Matter of fact, I never even knew a woman like this existed. So I'm going to interject here. And we're going to go back onto Pinky Love's Facebook page. And you can see here, this is a post from today where she is actually sharing out another blogger who has shared out the photo that Tasha K released, but this time collaged it with a side-by-side -side of Derek Jackson's wife, Danae, in the pool with a caption that says, it's not right, but I understand. Let's just take a look at some of the comments. As you can see here, this first person says, there's way more. Shall I tag you? Pinky responds, yep, show me, LOL, with a laughing emoji. So she clearly is enjoying the attention that she has been receiving as a result of having her photos taken with Derek Jackson. So her friend responds and says, I got you. So, so another person comes in and says, you know, I'm lost. Why do they keep sharing this? And Pinky responds, I'm guessing because of his ex-wife. Now, he isn't divorced yet, Pinky, but okay. So they laugh it off. So on this particular screenshot, the last person comes in and laughs and says, she's wearing a whole dress in that water. So she obviously thinks that it's a laughing matter and she's enjoying the attention that she's receiving as a result of her photo being out there. So let's go ahead and get back to Derek Jackson's relationship advice that Miss Pinky Love happened to share out back in 2018. And it's like he's played it safe with everybody else and we play it safe with the women that we see on the same level as us or maybe even below. But this one right here is a step above. That's the type of woman that we fall in love with. And that kind of woman, she creates a vulnerability in us. A vulnerability that, man, if I lost this one right here, it's going to hurt. It's actually going to matter. And the only way to assuage a vulnerability like that over the long term is to step your game up. Like, we know any woman, good women included, will entertain potential. They'll entertain it. They'll fall in love with it even. But they're not going to stay if that potential doesn't manifest into reality at some point. And the only way that potential is going to manifest is if it comes from a place of who we are. And so we have to become better. That's why in relationships you see a lot of times these dudes that become healthier. They become wiser. They become more patient. You know, they own something else when it comes to business. They, they leveling up in every area of life because they've come across a good woman. Not just a good woman, but a woman that they love. Because I've even said, like a lot of other people, a woman can come into a man's life, manifest and increase things tenfold. And that's true. 
But the most important part to that equation that a lot of us leave out is that that man first- Ah, uh, Mr. Jackson, is this the step your game up you were talking about? To love that woman in order to give her the humility that she could work with. He had to love her enough to be open to her constructive critique and her challenges to be a better person. Most importantly, he had to love her even to be motivated to put in the work himself so that he could level up and, and say, you know what, how do I remove every risk of losing this woman? And not just losing her on, on, in a physical context, because that's ego. Saying you got to keep a woman in your life by any means necessary, physically, that's ego. Love says, I'm going to manifest the absolute best in this woman on every level, financially, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. And through that, I'll earn her presence in my life. That's what love says. And when a man gets to that point, he's willing to challenge every area of his life that needs work in order to keep his woman over the long term in every sense. And that's when he knows that he's in love. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. But I want to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think that it's possible that he could have known this woman, had some type of relationship with her since 2018? Or is it just a coincidence that she just so happened to share out one of his so-called relationship videos over four years ago and they just met? I don't know. It's all strange to me. I'm sure this is going to continue to play out in the coming days and weeks ahead. So we're here for it. Until the next one, you guys, you stay blessed.